Today we're going to be talking about when is the best time to go to basic training. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video. And like I just said, we're gonna be talking about when is the best time to go to basic training. And by best time, I mean like which season, all right? Is it spring, is it summer, is it fall, is it winter? And this is gonna be based off of my personal experience and you know, what I'm more fond of and what I think is better overall. But again, this is just my opinion. Some of you guys might like the hot, some of you guys might like the cold, uh, but I'm telling you right now, when you throw basic training into the mix and just all the stuff you're gonna be doing, there is a sweet spot spot of when you know is the right time to you know ship out and like possibly go to basic training and just do the duration of that there right uh, but before we get into the main topic guys be sure to follow this channel subscribe 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 like this video so it pushes out to a larger audience I'm trying to hit a million subscribers by the end of this year it's looking promising but it'll look a lot more promising with y'all's help I'd appreciate it thank you and also if you have any questions whatsoever following this video hit me up on my Instagram at the Ben Allen it's the best possible place to to reach me I try to answer everybody back within two weeks or so uh, so be sure to check me out on there and also I have a discord with over 300 people in there that are currently serving getting ready to serve or have served that can help answer your questions if I'm not able to the links for both of those are down in the description so be sure to show the support show the love and join both of those right uh, I did four years active duty as a 68 whiskey got out in 2019 did the reserves for about a year and a half so I have that active duty and the reserve knowledge should you all need it let me know what type of videos you want down in the comments section uh, but jumping straight into the topic guys when is the best time to go to basic training uh, I'm telling you right now it's not the winter uh, you do not want to go to basic training in the winter that is it's horrible uh, because we were getting close to winter in my basic training and even then it wasn't even like full-on cold cold yet and I was freezing everybody was freezing I lost like feeling in my thumb for like a good two days because you're out there pulling security at like on during the FTX's you have to be out there you're doing shifts you're out there for like an hour two hours however long the shifts are right you're just out there in the cold yes you have gloves and everything but also gloves we had were super super thick so you couldn't even handle your weapon right and so in order to get a good grip you gotta either take your gloves off or have like some really poor gloves that don't even offer any heat whatsoever to your fingertips hands and all that stuff and it was just a shit show it was horrible and then on top of that right waking up in the morning in the field at basic training in the cold horrible horrible you're coming out of your your sleeping system you know you're as cozy as you can be you're not super cozy you're still freezing uh and you wake up and then for the males you gotta shave uh you still gotta shave in the field uh they don't play that at basic training oh you're in the field you, it's okay you guys don't have to shave it's not like the real army they're like no you gotta be fresh shaved every day so you're over there just freezing bro with the cold ass water the shaving cream it's horrible and just in general, I feel like the cold slows you down. Like you're, you're running PT in the morning as a drag. It's horrible because you, your, your muscles are stiff. They're tight. If you got any prior injuries, like sprained ankles, knees, lower back, whatever, you're going to be feeling those in the cold. I know I was on my left knee. I had surgery before I joined. Uh, not right before I joined, but like my junior year of high school, right? Uh, to me, just winter is not the ideal time to join, guys. Especially if you're like doing land nav also. During the land nav course, you're just out there for hours in the cold, finding your points, getting lost, sucking, uh, not fun, right? Uh, so next one, least, uh, is summer. The, the, the peak of summer is just another, like, no-go. That is, bro, you're gonna be heat catting, right? You can be a cold weather injury, sure, but heat cats are also, like, you know, a little more common, to me anyway. At least I've seen way more heat cats as a medic than I have cold weather injuries. Uh, and just summer, the blazing heat, especially depending on where you're at, right? Your location is going to play a big factor in this too, right? Fort Leonard Wood, Jesus Christ, cold, right? Uh, Fort Sill, uh, about the same. It, it gets super, super hot in the summer, and it was super, super cold in the winter too. And it's windy as shit too, so you're just getting the cold air blasted on you uh, at Fort Sill. Fort Benning, uh, not too sure how it is there. I don't have uh, personal accounts uh, from those areas. And then what, Jackson? Uh, not too familiar how those uh, areas climates are during you know summer winter months all that stuff right but for at least what I know from Fort Sill because I went there and Fort Leonard Wood because my roommate went there uh, not a good time right uh, for either or 
Um, and so summer, right? Summer is just hot because you're marching, you're training, you're sweaty, you're gonna feel nasty all the time. And then on top of that, you're doing rough marches, guys, uh, in the hot sun. Those are like, you know, miles and miles and miles of just carrying weight on your back, rucking to a location, a training site, whatever. Uh, we had a bunch of people heat cat when I first got to basic uh, because it was still pretty hot. It was like t the tail end of summer, kind of right and you know granted we were probably like malnourished dehydrated and sleep deprived so that played into it as well uh but i can imagine like if you were in the peak of summer right and you're in physical condition you're pretty good physical condition uh, you're still going to be sucking pretty bad guys unless you're used to being in the sauna you're running outside doing marathons and shit you're used to like the texas heat or something right summer necessarily wasn't super bad for me because I'm used to like, you know, it being hot outside and stuff like that. Where I come from, where I grew up, it was like humid, dry. Um, I've been to, or it was like humid, hot, right? And then I've been to dry, hot locations as well. So it's not really that bad for me personally, but it still sucked. I wouldn't want to go there peak of summer, right? Uh, spring is okay, uh, but it's still pretty hot. It, it's, it gets pretty hot, right? And depending on what time you go in spring, it can still be kind of cold. Uh, and I think the most ideal time to try and shoot for to go to basic training if you can control it whatsoever if you can like you know pick a ship date or if you can like try and get something close to there is like tail end of summer right like summer's almost over going into fall uh, i think that's probably the most ideal time for basic training it, in my own personal opinion you guys can have different opinions right everybody has different experiences with basic training whatsoever and just the seasons in general but i shipped out uh what september 20th right um what well, in like what summer summer it kind of ends there around there maybe uh you know so if you can ship out maybe a little sooner than that like if you can ship out like early september late august i, I would shoot for like late august that's probably like a good you know like good area right there because uh, it's starting to cool down it's starting to get cooler it gets a little breezy and then you don't have to go into the early winter right because i graduated december 5th and it was already getting pretty cold like middle of november and shit like that and i was like oh god this cold sucks i'm not built for this uh and i i think you know between that right between the the heat in the beginning which was only like a couple days right and then it started to cool down and then like you know the two weeks of cold at the end there was a sweet spot in the middle of that and i think that was pretty good so if anything i'd shoot for you know late august uh early september around there i think that's one of the best times to go to basic training not only that because uh you'll also get holiday block leave right uh, because you'll, you'll graduate basic, right? You won't get any leave in basic, but you'll graduate basic and then you'll go to AIT, right? If you're active duty, if you're National Guard Reserves, oh, you still go to AIT, my bad. Uh, but in AIT, you'll get holiday block leave like I did when I was a 68 Whiskey at Fort Sam. We got to base like what, December 6th, I think. And like what, a week or two later, uh, we were on leave uh, for holiday block leave. And so that was fun, it was cool. And then we were back to work in January and you know, graduated AIT in April because I was a medic. Uh, and I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope it gives you just some general idea. I just wanted to make a quick little topic for you guys uh, to just help you out, maybe give you uh, some sense of what a good time to try and shoot for basic training is. Uh, if you took anything away from this, let me know down in the comments. What months do you prefer? Do you prefer the hot? Do you prefer the cold? Uh, let me know, let's talk about it. And again, uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. It really helps out. Like this video so it pushes out to a larger audience and follow my Instagram at the ben allen and join my discord both of those links are down in the description box below i appreciate y'all thank y'all for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one later